Fire in the hole, let's make a bomb. Not that kind of bomb, stay tuned. Bacon roasting on an open fire. Jalapenos nipping at your nose. There should be a law that says I'm not allowed to sing. <laughs> hey, hello and welcome once again to my backyard. What I got going on for you today is we're cooking up some bacon and we're roasting up some jalapenos to put in our bomb. We're making a bomb. But first we have to roast some jalapenos to put in our bomb and we got to cook up some bacon to put in our bomb. So let me get the bacon and the jalapenos roasted up and then I'll show you how we put together this explosive device. So stay tuned. Yeah, my jalapenos are toasted up and I've got my bacon cooked up the way I want it. I've got about two and a half pounds of ground beef right here that we're going to season up with some Uncle Steve's Thick Meat Shake. This is good stuff. Uncle Steve's, Uncle Steve's uh, rubs are some good stuff. This is, I like this one, the Thick Meat. I put it on some steaks the other day and it was really good. We're going to season up the meat with some uh, Uncle Steve's Thick Meat. Then I've got an egg I'm going to break in there. An egg. There you go. Pull that shell out. And I've got some panko breadcrumbs. Just a shake of panko breadcrumbs in there. And that egg is going to bind this all together. And then I've got some garlic and a yellow bell pepper and an onion diced up. I'm going to put that all in there. Get that all mixed up. The only way you can is with your hands. Got to get in there with your hands and mix all that stuff up. And what we're making is a kind of a meatloaf, I guess you'd call it. But this is going to be our bacon, beef, and cheese bomb. And uh, let me get this meat mixed up. There you go. Looking like something now, isn't it? Looking like a meatloaf. That's what it looks like. But yeah, we got a we got a ways to go with this yet. We got to fix this up in a certain specific way. But we've got our veggies incorporated our garlic, our Uncle Steve's shake. Hey, if you want to try some Uncle Steve's shake, go down in the description and I'll leave a link to Uncle Steve's uh, web store where you can buy some. Or if you feeling lucky today, you can leave a comment and give me a thumbs up on this video and I'll give away some Uncle Steve's shakes to one lucky subscriber. You got to be a subscriber got to live in the United States, got to give me a thumbs up and a comment on this video and I'll give you some Uncle Steve shake. That's pretty nice of me, don't you think? I think it is. Okay, let me get my meat mixture mixed up and we'll proceed to the second step of making a bomb. Bomb making 101. How to make a bomb. Stay tuned. So what I got here is a metal bowl lined with plastic wrap. I'm going to take that meat mixture and press it into the bowl like this. This is the shell of our bomb. We want about a half inch thick shell of meat that we're going to put in here. We want to make it come up to the sides of the bowl like this. You see where I'm going with this, I hope. That plastic wrap didn't work out exactly like I thought it was going to, but it's okay. I'll make it work somehow. We'll get this together, you and I. So let's press, okay, I got the shell of the bomb pressed into the bowl. What I've got now is some, uh, this is camembert cheese. This is a soft ripened uh, washed rind cheese. Really good stuff, let me show you. Camembert, camembert cheese. It's like brie, similar to brie. Anyway, we're gonna put that in the middle of our bomb. That's the payload of the bomb. That's the explosive part of the bomb. Then we're going to get some of our jalapenos that we roasted up and put them around the cheese like this. Jalapenos. Gotta love a jalapeno. I do. Nice and spicy roasted jalapeno that I've taken the seeds and the white skin out of to make them less you know, strict. 
you know what I'm saying they get they're kind of uh, that's where the heat is in a jalapeno so we got some jalapeno next we're gonna put that bacon in there remember that bacon we cooked up we're gonna put that cooked bacon around there like that so we've got a layer of bacon we've got cheese in the middle we've got jalapenos maybe another layer of jalapenos on top of the bacon why not why not indeed we can do whatever we want because this is our bomb that we're making get some of that bacon in there some more bacon we got that camembert cheese the jalapenos got that uncle steve shake on there that's some good stuff yeah now we've got the bomb payload set up all we got to do now is take the remaining meat and press it in here on top of that like this we're closing the bomb up so that when it explodes it'll uh you know make a a shock wave i actually have to distribute the meat out a little bit better because i didn't have quite enough meat i might even have to go get some more meat i got some more meat in the fridge that might that might do it i might get away with that let's just try it you know i'll pack that in there Pack it in good. A meat bomb. Wait till you see this. Let me get all I can get out of here. I'm shy a little bit of meat right there. I need to transfer a bit from here and move it over there because I want my bomb to explode. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we want our bomb to explode. Okay. I think that'll work right there. Now for the tricky part. <laughs> this is gonna be the tricky part. I've got my grill pan, and what I'm gonna do is put the grill pan on top of the bowl and flip it over like that. That's the theory anyway. Now I'm gonna supposed to be able to take that off of there, and the meat's supposed to stay like a bomb, like that. Ho ho! That's a bomb if I ever saw one. We're gonna get that on the grill, and get it cooking. We're gonna slather it with some barbecue sauce and uh, get this sucker cooked up. So stay tuned, I'll show you what it looks like on the grill. The meat bomb is on the grill. We're gonna put the cover on it and cook it till we get to an internal temperature of about 150 degrees. We wanna cook it well. And uh, we're gonna slather it with some barbecue sauce and put some more cheese on top. So uh, let me get a little bit of cook on that, and I'll bring you right back and show you that. So stay tuned. My meat bomb has been on the grill for about 30 minutes, and I'm not going to lie to you. We had a little bit of a premature explosion, <laughs> but it's okay. It's all good. We're going to splather some of this on there. This is Duke's Georgia Sweet Heat Barbecue Sauce. I got this at Walmart. Sounded interesting to me. So I decided I'm going to use this in this... Uh, in this bomb to slather some of this Duke's barbecue sauce. Now Duke's makes some really good mayonnaise. I don't know if you're aware of it. I think they make the best mayonnaise going, Duke's mayonnaise. We're just gonna slather this on my on my meat bomb, which hasn't been hurt by the premature explosion really. It's just gonna make it, you know, a little less uh, beautiful maybe. It's gonna be just as good, just as good to eat. Get a little bit more of that Dukes on there. Dukes. Dukes mayonnaise. Some of the best mayonnaise I've ever had. If you like mayonnaise, this is their barbecue sauce. This is their Georgia Sweet Heat barbecue sauce. We're gonna glaze that thing all around with that Dukes barbecue sauce. That'll help hold it together a little bit, I guess. But we did have a terrible blowout over here. But it's okay. It's all right. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna, shut up, don't sing. Okay, all right. Now one more little touch we're gonna put on this thing. We got some of that uh, Swiss and Grier shredded cheese. We're gonna top it up with that. As if it didn't have enough cheese in it, we're gonna give it a top hat of Swiss and Grier. And let that melt on top of there. 
There you go. Yeah. We just got to check its temperature right now. See what we got going on here. I'm looking for about 150. I'm at about 150 now. So it's almost done. It's almost ready to plate up and take a taste of. Oh yeah, looking good. Okay. We're going to let that cheese melt a little bit. We're going to get it off there, get a beer and take a taste. So stay tuned. My meat bomb is done. I can't wait to cut into it. But wait, there's the Frosty Root Boy mug. And here's today's beer. Terrapin Brewing Company, Luau Passion Fruit, Orange and Guava IPA. Does that sound like me or what, Rob? What do you think? That sounds like my kind of beer. Passion Fruit, Guava, and Orange. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah. It's kind of a hazy yellow color. Terrapin Brewing Company is in Georgia, I think. A good brewery. And this is going to be an awesome beer to go with my meat bomb. Terrapin Brewing Company Luau. There's all kinds of stuff on here. Talks about it. But all you need to know is passion fruit, orange, and guava. Beer with natural flavors. Uh, it says the ABV on here somewhere, I'm sure. But I'm not, it's not jumping out at me, so I'm not going to be able to. Here it is, here it is, 6.5%. Rob, let's take a sniff of that. What do you think? It's a nice hazy IPA. You know that's my, that's my kind of thing. Ah, it smells great. You can smell the passion fruit and the guava. Let's take a taste of that, Rob. Let's quaff the froth off it, baby. Yes, excellent, excellent IPA, but enough about the beer. Let's cut into our meat bomb. Let's see what's going on inside the meat bomb. Let's cut right into the middle of it, like this. Get you a cross section of that puppy. Get that split apart so you can see all that melty cheese that's inside there. And those hot, look at that cheese melting out of there. Oh boy. I might have to redo the thumbnail on that one. In fact, you know what? I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to redo that thumbnail because that's too beautiful to not uh, use. Stay tuned. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let me get me a piece of this right here. Like that. I'm going to dip it in that melty camembert cheese. Look at that. Oh man, I can't wait to get this in my mouth. I know it's going to be hot, but I'll just have to take one for the team. What do you think? Mmm. Oh. That is beyond delicious. Mmm. I can't tell you how good that tastes. The jalapenos and the bacon and all that cheese. Man, is that delicious. Mmm. Babies. That is a killer recipe. Let me tell you why. Oh, that's really good. Hey, if you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, go up in the iCard and check out somebody who you know what I'm going to put in the iCard? Pickles. Pickles Barbecue. My boy Charlie Pickles. He's a good dude. He's making some awesome videos. Let me get a piece of that bacon in my mouth. Look at that bacon and cheese right there. Ah. Mmm. All that melty bacon and the jalapeno. Mmm. Should have cut the jalapeno up a little smaller, I think. This is delicious. Yeah. Go up in the iCard, check out Charlie Pickles. Tell him the Root Boy sent you. Subscribe to him. He might think that's funny. He probably will. Oh. That is so good. My bomb didn't exactly explode the way I wanted it to, but it is awesome. Awesome. Could have worked out better. Anyway, babies, that's my video. 
We'll see you next week, babies. Bye.